Hey guys, it's Maria K, aka No Guilt Girl, here for another No Guilt Recipe. So today we're doing something a little bit different in light of the fact that I just turned 21 this past summer. I've been experimenting with some fun cocktails. And a lot of us know that cocktails can be not exactly waistline friendly, depending on what you order. But I'm going to show you guys one that's fun for the fall, goes well with football, hors d'oeuvres, um, even Thanksgiving dinner. It's very refreshing. I'm going to be using um, my favorite wine. This is red velvet and this is the cupcake wine and it is delicious. The best red wine you'll have. Not too dry but not too sweet. It's very, very good. Very balanced. I'm going to be using triple sec. Give it some a little bit of a citrusy kind of flavor. A little bit of orange juice here. I leave the pulp in but that's a personal decision. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this all blended up with some frozen blackberries. So this drink here is called a red wine blackberry slushy. And just because it's not summer anymore doesn't mean you can't enjoy a slushy because there are some great fall flavors in here. Some very rich wine, red wine and blackberry notes goes very well with um, fall type foods. So let's get started. So in our blender or food processor, whichever one you have at home, they both work pretty well. Um, I have three cups of frozen blackberries and blueberries. You can use all blueberries or all blackberries. However, I recommend either all blackberries or a mix of both. Um, I have a cup of ice cubes here. Now I'm going to add a third cup of pure orange juice. No sugar added. And not from concentrate. I'm going to add a little over a shot of triple sec in here. And then I'm going to reach up in here and grab some blue agave. You could use honey as well, but I think that for this drink, the agave is more of a neutral flavor. Honey has a very particular kind of taste, but if you like it, you could use that as well. So I'm going to do about a tablespoon and a half. You can experiment with this to your own personal tastes. Um, let's see. All right, I think we're good. Well, I'm going to blend this up and we'll see you back. All right guys, so now we have the base of our slushy. We have a nice kind of sorbet-like texture. Honestly, it tastes great just like this if you're not a wine person. However, I am a wine person. So now we're going to add our wine and we're gonna blend again to make sure it's extra smooth. I add three quarters of a cup of wine, which is six ounces about. Okay, and then we're just gonna add that in there. Just like that. I'm going to bring this over to our blender here. And all right, let's take a look at the final product here. It looks absolutely delicious. Oh yes, that pours very nicely. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. And to finish this off, I'm going to rub some orange on the rim and leave it on there for decorative purposes. Okay, then I got these adorable Halloween-like straws because you can literally fall in love with fall with my blackberry wine slushies. Again, thank you to this amazing wine by Cupcade Vineyards Red Velvet. Guys, you can use any red wine you want, but this is the way to go. So you guys enjoy your fall and enjoy this drink, and I'll see you next time for another no-get recipe. Now I'm here, don't say it's too late to try. Throw those tears and check your vital signs.